Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. And today is Thursday the 30th, and today was a, eh, I was starting to say a beautiful day. Turned out to be a beautiful day. Started out with a lot of overcast, a lot of crappy clouds in the sky and all that good stuff. I was going out for my 5K training run with my new training today. We're doing like a base model to see what their pace was gonna be for know how far we had to reach. They wanted to increase to a set goal time for a 5K as their first goal they've got for running. Um, it's kind of ambitious goal for a first goal. I would have normally liked to have seen them say something like, I wanna be able to run for three minutes straight or hell, actually two minutes straight at this point. Um, maybe 10 minutes straight, something like that. But they set out a pretty hefty um, 5K goal time. So I went out there to get a test run to see where I was starting at, to see where I had to improve and upgrade and get them in training to get them to run to meet their goal. So ended up turning in a um, 46, 13, I believe it was, was their 5K time, which isn't bad, but their goal time is 35 minutes. So I've got to knock off over 10 minutes of time to get them to their goal pace. And it's going to be possible. I'm giving myself six weeks to do it. I'm going to try and get it done in a month. Um, but I'm giving myself a six week window is what I'm actually looking at. So what we end up doing, we um, headed to the gym. They got there late. They got changed. They got themselves warmed up and that. Headed out to the reservoir to do an outdoor run. Instead of messing with the roads and stuff, I took them out to the trail. I thought it'd be a little easier. Um, really probably wasn't because of the fact that uh, I wanted the trail because also it was a 1.5 mile loop. That way they kind of knew how far they were going, kind of give them an idea, look of what it was going to be. Make two loops, go another tenth of a mile, we're done. Um, got out there, ended up with a bunch of ice and stuff. But as we left the gym to head out that way, it was trying to rain, but it was giant sleet, like large BB, uh, small pea sized sleet coming down like crazy. And I couldn't believe they were willing to actually go out there and run in this. Um, I, I've run for over a year and I almost didn't want to run in this crap. So definitely um, really super proud of them for that. We got there and the wind was just beating us in the face. Sleet was coming down, it was kicking our butt like crazy. Um, that hurt our time a little bit, which I'm all right with. It'll make it seem like we improved more than what it might have been. Also at the end, she said that she thought she could have ran a little farther in between the runs and the walk stages. And I told her the same thing she probably could have also. But right now I'm still mostly working on trying to control her mind and train her mind because her legs are there, she can run farther. But if I was to, I guess, reproduce a failure in her, I'm afraid her mind's weak enough, and I don't mean that to be in a bad way, but I'm afraid her mind in the concept of running is fragile enough, probably a better word to put, that it would set us back way farther than a slower time here today would do. So I'm trying to keep her from having a single failure, at least for the first, you know, three weeks or so. And then from there, I might try and really push her pretty hard, just see where her limits are. And then if she fails then, she'll already have three weeks of seeing constant growth in herself that won't be that big a deal of a drop down. This is only like her, I don't know, I have to look, but like fourth or fifth, six runs like that. It's not very, she's not been out that often. And this is her longest run that we've been together on the run and her longest run since she's been trained again. She has done a couple of her 5Ks, but they were all like mostly walking 5Ks and with groups of people. So it's not quite the same thing. You know, it's one of those things where there was a lot, she was kind of even walking slower than normal because she has a fairly fast walk, which helped keep her time down a little bit because we did walk quite a bit of this. So other than that, um, got finished up there. I got a run on, I got my run warm up in at the gym before that, went and did the 5K with her. Headed back to the gym, knocked out a bunch of time on the bike. Um, ended up getting back in the treadmill, knocking out some fast training runs. I actually ended up outrunning the treadmill, ironically. So it has a maximum speed and I was trying to go faster. I can't remember what the hell was going on. I kept thinking I was hitting the button wrong. And it turns out I'm faster than the treadmill, but only for short bursts. I'm doing like 30 second run, 30 second rest. And now I gotta figure out where to find a fast faster treadmill or just stick with that slower pace that I'm at. But, oh well, it was kind of a cool feeling, but it also sucked at the same time. So it just kind of depends on how in the heck you look at it, I guess, at that point. So other than that, um, left there, was gonna head out to the um, old folks home with the um, Alzheimer patients and decided to put that off. I ended up going to the dump and actually got down to the dump, getting ready to hit the shower and realized the weather was just, it was nice. They're calling for some really crappy weather to be coming in. So I decided to heck with it and went back out and did my own 5K, ended up knocking out a much faster 5K than what we did there. I could have done more, but I've already run a bunch today. So I went ahead and said, heck with it. The trails are icy, all that crap, but had a good 5K run there. Then I went for a couple mile walk with the dog, just kind of 
walk around town a little somewhere different, just kind of chill out a little bit and get my legs resting. Came home, got some other stuff done here and there and that stuff. Um, been giving some advice to somebody who found out they have a basement wall collapsing on their house that they're threatening. They were, um, had a threat that the people who did the basement said one heavy rain, your whole house could collapse and yada, yada. Um, I told them I'd come out and take a look at it. I'm going to try and convince them. They own a little bit of land there. I'm going to try and convince them to maybe move their house back a little farther. Because they got like a quote of like 14 grand to replace a wall in their basement. And I'm like, you can probably have a whole new basement put in for 28,000 bucks. And you can raise your ceilings. You can do all kinds of cool stuff when you put the new basement in, including making, it's just a basement. It's an old built in the fifties house with a crowded basement in it. Where this way, if they jack the house up, put a whole new basement underneath it per se, I don't, I'm guessing, but I'm haven't seen the size of the house, the layout and that kind of thing. I'm guessing they can end up saving themselves. Well, they'll spend more money, but they'll get, a, they'll double their usable space in their house. Cause right now their basement's not used for nothing. And they can add in a couple more rooms. They've already have both their kids bunking in one room because the other room is an office set up for them and it make more sense to just throw the office in the basement workout room play room or throw in a couple egress windows and you got four freaking bedroom house now or five bedroom house real easily so definitely um told my get a chance i'll get out there and look at that and see if i can't give them some pointers so that's really all i know for now i'll talk to you guys later have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching